Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can select multiple pictures for printing in Windows 8.1. Um, before we start you need to open up the folder where your pictures are in. Um, they should be located in the pictures folder. Um, to get to this on your desktop you might have this uh, folder up here and it's usually got your name underneath it. You can double click that and then go to pictures from there. If you don't have that folder there on your desktop you can go down to your taskbar right here locate this icon down at the bottom and this is the file explorer click on that and then you can go to pictures from there so opening up the pictures folder you might have folders within the pictures folder uh, so you may want to open the folder of your choice and then select the photos from there um, so here we have three photos that I want to print um, to highlight every one of these photos um, you can hold down the control key on your keyboard that's usually located at the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard and it will say CTRL on it. So holding down that button on the keyboard and then left clicking with the mouse um, you can select um, each of the photos that you want to print. You could then release the key once you're finished. So I've highlighted the photos there. Another way of highlighting them is to have checkboxes on each of the photos. To activate this option, you go up to View, the View tab, and then you're going to go to this uh, tick box here which says Item Checkboxes. So tick that box, and now every time I hover over a photo, you get these little boxes appear in the corner. So I can now tick each of the photos like so. So let's have a look at printing these photos. Um, so if you right click on a photo, doesn't matter which one because they're all highlighted, right click and then go to print. You can do it that way. Alternatively, if I highlight them again, you can go to the share tab at the top and then go to print from there. Okay, so let's have a look at the print box now. I'm going to show what every one of these items does. Up here we have printer. This is where you select your printer. Usually by default it will select the printer that you use the most. Um, if you have multiple printers, you use the pull down menu, select the printer of your choice there. Next one is paper size, currently set to A4. You can select um, some of the most used options here. You can go to more if you want to see more options that are not listed. Quality, I won't go into that. On the um, right hand side, um, you can select various different viewing options here. Um, so let's say this one. You can have two pictures on one page. Um, you scroll down, you can have four pictures on one page. I've only got three selected, so it's only showing three. Uh, and you can, there's loads of different options there, so you may want to experiment with that. Down here, um, it's showing us that we have, we're viewing one of three. So it's showing you a preview of the what it will look like on the piece of paper. Using the arrow buttons left and right, you can uh, view the photos on each page. Down here we have fit pictures of frame. If I untick that, you get a board around it. Um, if I use this option here, use the up and down arrows, you can select how many pictures you want to print of each photo. Because now I have one of nine pages. So it's going to print uh, one of nine. So as you see, I've got the photo here. Um, if I go next, that's now on two of nine, then three of nine. And then it goes to the next one, so it's three of each photo, as you can see. And if I selected a different option here, uh, you get it like this. So have a little play around with that. Um, there's various different options you can choose from. When you're ready to print, um, you just click on the print button at the bottom right hand corner. And then it goes ahead and prints those photos for you. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Do check out my website, whiteclick.co.uk. From there you can see the forum for more uh, tutorials. Um, you can also subscribe to my videos here on YouTube as well. Thanks for watching.